Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey everyone, my name is Zach Mueller. And I'm Kristen Gerhardt. And I don't have any hair. Just kidding, it's it's here. It's just, uh, it's out of frame. So, intro. Welcome back once again. Hope you had an awesome weekend. I got all four of my wisdom teeth out. Really? And you're yep. able to talk and... Yep. Wow. On Monday. I looked like a chipmunk. I swear my cheeks were this big. Oh, it hurts. When I had... It hurts. Are you on a liquid diet? Uh, no. I not anymore. I ate so much ice cream. Lots of lukewarm mac and cheese. At least you can eat Room that. Room temperature. It's not... It's pretty good. Not nearly... It's better as, than applesauce. Not nearly or oatmeal. as... oatmeal. Good as hot, warm cheese. Hot, warm cheese. I think it's time for you to do the news. I think so. All right, y'all, let's get into the news. I feel shiny today. I'm sorry if I'm shiny. The Washington Symposium on Magic History is taking place April 25th in Maryland. This event will have loads of amazing speakers, including Dale Selwick, and it's even arranged for attendees to view the Library of Congress's private magic collection. What? It's pretty amazing, so check out the magicposters.com website for more information. David Copperfield is making an appearance on the Today Show every Monday for the entire month of March. Be sure to check out his most recent appearance this past Monday after his plane had to make an emergency landing on the way to the shoot. Luckily no one was hurt and the show went on successfully. Very successfully. Tune in for next week's installment. The wildly popular show Nothing to Hide from Derek Delgadio and Helder Ramirez is ending March 31st. So grab your tickets now, go see him at the Geffen Playhouse really awesome. As you may already know, we recently launched the Incredible Burt Wonderstone contest, so enter for your chance to win some incredible prizes. Just create a 60 second video highlighting your magis- magistry, I was gonna say magistry, magic or cardistry talent. Magistry talent. Entries are due 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time next Friday, so you just have one week left to enter, so get to it. Winners will be announced March 22nd, so stay tuned for lots more information coming your way. On a recent episode of The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, Monarchs were highlighted on the cover of Magic Magazine. You can see them, Burt Wonderstone with Monarchs. Just check it out, it's about 24 minutes into the episode. You know, not that I timed it or anything. You should check it out, it's pretty awesome. That's all for the news this week. Stay tuned next week. I'll, I'll be back with more news. Now I'm gonna throw it to Zach for the latest and the greatest. And I'm Tassily. Hey guys, on The Wire this week we have a new trick by Arnel Renegado called Shrink. Now I know you've seen hundreds of cap through bottle effects, but I have never seen one of those plastic like rings that sits below the, the cap when you open the bottle and then it like pop, it like snaps and twists off the very first time that you open up the the bottle for the first time, it's one of the, like, the plastic ring. I've never seen one of those through a bottle until now. It's a pretty cool idea and it is Arnel Renegado's fourth free release on The Wire, which means you can go and download it right now at absolutely no cost. It also brings Arnel Renegado's total amount of Wire releases to 22. 22 Wire releases. I don't, I don't know how he has the, the brain capacity to come up with that much. It makes me angry, and I don't know what you're doing with all those elite points, but can I have some? As Kristen said, our Burt Wonderstone contest is only open for one more week, and we have seen some really amazing submissions so far. So make sure you get your submission in and make it 110% awesome. We've gotten nothing but great reviews for our new relaxed effect entitled Record, which we released last week. We even got a new video in our media section of someone performing Record really well, and it actually has patter in it like actual talking, it's the first video I've seen in a while demoing a new release that isn't set to dubstep or Rascal Flats. So props to you. Roll the clip. So after watching Rick Lags um, record, I was kind of skeptic whether what he said was true, whether this Apple headphones was truly stretchable. Much to my surprise, as you can see, they are true. But the part that actually, um, I could say, Surprised me the most is this. Um, wait a sec. Let's I roll up my sleeves. All right. So look at this. As headphones could actually break apart. There you go. 
In addition to everything I just notified you to with my mouth and my face, you can check out all of our new videos on the media section, including a video of Justin Willman dressed up as the Pope and doing magic and falling into a creek. That's cool. Also a new article by Jason England in our weekly Mysterium series you can check out in our news section and much, much more. So get out your camo vest and your binoculars and go exploring. Hey, you just might see an animal kingdom on the way. Nope, that, I'm, I've abandoned that joke already. That is all from me this week. Andre, take it away. Hey guys, Andre Jick here. Welcome back to this week's expose. I'm on the set of Burt Wonderstone. No, I'm really not. But I'm here to give you guys some tips about how to make your video look good. So you saw the posts on our forums, how to light your video up, which camera to use, which software to use. If you haven't, go do so right now. I'm just going to elaborate really quick. As you can see, my locations, it's nice, it's clean, so you can't see my stuff laying around. Clean up your shot. You might want to use one of these to light your video. It's amazing. It's a $2 foam core piece from Walmart that you can bounce light off. You can see how huge their the difference is. Now, right now, I have indirect lighting and there, it's very cloudy weather, so it's very soft on my skin. That's another thing you want to be aware of. You don't want to directly light yourself because that creates harsh shadows. So, and it also acts as an amazing impromptu fan hair thing. Fan. Michael agrees. <laughs> so, if you haven't been following our Twitter and our Instagram feed, uh, we posted a few pictures that Jamie Schoolcraft made of our trophy for first place, and it looks amazing. And, uh... <laughs> so, that's it. Just remember, light it well, find a cool location, get somebody out to help you. It doesn't have to be a fancy, you know, several thousand dollar camera. It could be your iPhone, it could be your, uh, you know, iTouch. Whatever you can find, and let the video be what it wants to be. So, that's it, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Once again, we want to thank you all for watching. On behalf of myself, Kristen, Andre, Michael, and all four of these teeth that are now in They're my, holes now. In my They're closet. not even teeth. They're just gaps. Yeah. They're gaping. Wells of pain. Gu gushing with blood. Fun juices. Ooh. Ooh. I think, I think we'll see you next yeah, Friday. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Bye.